Welcome to Future Codex. Today, we're diving into one of the most controversial yet fascinating aspects of blockchain, Maximal Extractable Value, or MEV. If you've ever wondered how blockchain transactions can be manipulated for profit or why Ethereum gas fees sometimes spike unexpectedly, this video is for you. What is MEV? MEV stands for Maximal Extractable Value and it refers to the extra profit that blockchain validators or miners can extract by reordering, inserting, or censoring transactions within a block. Think of it as the dark arts of blockchain arbitrage where those who control the order of transactions can prioritize their own interests. How MEV works every time you send a transaction on Ethereum, it enters what's called the mempool, a waiting area where transactions line up before being included in a block. Miners or validators who confirm these transactions don't always process them in the order they arrive. Instead, they can reorganize them to maximize their profits. Here are some of the main ways MEV is exploited, front-running. When a bot or miner sees a lucrative trade about to happen and places its own transaction first to capitalize on the price movement dot back running, when a bot places a transaction immediately after another one, taking advantage of price shifts caused by large orders, sandwich attacks, this is a brutal one where a bot places one trade before yours and one after, squeezing you in the middle and profiting from your price impact. Why MEV matters MEV isn't just a technical quirk, it has real-world consequences. Higher gas fees. MEV bots engage in bidding wars to get their transactions processed first, leading to skyrocketing gas fees for everyone. Market manipulation. MEV bots can distort decentralized finance, defy markets, making it harder for everyday traders to get fair prices. Network congestion. Spam transactions from MEV bots can clog the network, slowing down normal. Transactions and increasing costs. Is MEV bad for Ethereum? It depends on who you ask. On one hand, MEV can be seen as a natural part of Ethereum's free market mechanics. Traders and bots compete for block space and the most efficient or ruthless ones win. On the other hand, MEV creates an uneven playing field where bots and validators have an unfair advantage over regular users. It also erodes trust in DeFi, a space that's supposed to be decentralized and fair. How is Ethereum fighting back? Ethereum developers and researchers are actively working on solutions to reduce the negative impact of MEV. Some key approaches include Flashbots, a system that helps reduce gas wars by allowing transactions to be privately submitted to miners, minimizing front-running. EIP 1559, Ethereum's upgrade that introduced base fees. Making gas prices more predictable and slightly mitigating MEV. MEV resistant protocols. New blockchain architectures aim to reduce MEV by designing fairer transaction ordering systems. The future of MEV's Ethereum continues to evolve. MEV won't disappear, but it might become more controlled. Layer 2 solutions, better consensus mechanisms, and improved privacy tools could help level the playing field. What do you think? Is MEV just part of the game, or should Ethereum do more to eliminate it? Let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more deep dives into blockchain and crypto trends. This is Future Codex, where the future of tech is decoded, one block at a time. See you in the next video.